Good morning, travelers. It is, what is it, 7.30 on Inauguration Day, uh, January 20th, 2021. And so this is just a, a quick little kind of message. I, I'm not going to be pulling cards or anything. Uh, I don't have time. I've got to get my kid uh, to her college class this morning. And I'm going to toot her horn. My kid is doing a dual program. Uh, she does high school and college courses at the same time. And thus far, she has been the only person to pass her certified EKG technician test in her class. And I am so proud of her. And so I just had to toot her horn. She's 16. She's a lovely kid. Um, and so I have to get her to class this morning. And then I'm going to go see my acupuncturist because he's been out of town for two weeks. Hey, Devin, be there soon. And I can't live without him. So, <laughs> um so as I was telling you in the previous video, I won't be around. As a matter of fact, my, my appointment is going to be at the exact moment of the actual inauguration. But I did hear a few things this morning on the news that kind of struck me. I'm a ticker. And nobody's talking about it. Um, and so apparently they have pulled 15 National Guards uh, out of the detail there for inauguration because they found that they had extremist links and then they arrested some guy who I think um they say is quite dangerous uh I, I don't know exactly what the story is behind that but he's one of the first I think it's one of three people who um have been charged with conspiracy surrounding this capital event so I haven't had any uh, other dreams or information, and I want to say thank you to all of you who've been coming underneath the collective message video, trying to help me decipher those numbers. Um, literally, it could be anything, but I trust that what they're telling me that it's in the numbers, um, that that has some significance. I just don't know what yet. Um, and so I may not even never know, to be honest with you. <laughs> and so one other thing, uh, somebody salient, uh, was like, you know, that January 20th, 2021 could be something like the COVID date that Jessica Adams came up with, which her date was, uh, January 1, 2020. And she did on her website. She's like, that's it. It's some kind of virus, some kind of computer. Co she, I mean, spot on. And that was the first time, the 1st of January, 2020, that we heard about COVID. But then this morning when I woke up and I'm looking at the little ticker on the news, they said that today also is the um, one year that COVID has been here in America. So Jessica's code also uh, turned out to be one of the names of the new, uh, a name of the new variant that's here. But then when I looked at my numbers, it was also, you know, the, about the new variant. But there's something else I keep telling you that January 20th, 2021 has been saying to me. So um, today's the day and we we shall see. Um, <clears throat> I am really apprehensive. Um, I just don't have a good feeling about today. And I don't know why that is. And I was hoping that, well, they I, I had a couple of other dreams, but it doesn't have anything to do with um, today. At least I don't think it does. And so um, when I get more time, I will, because uh, I've made notes. And that's one thing you do if you're a psychic or a medium. When you get stuff, you may not, I have journals. I mean, literally journals of stuff. And so you make notes so that if you can go back and reference it, or maybe it might fit into a later piece. I, you know, you just, you don't know. And so, um, I know y'all hate to hear that term, but it is what it is. And so I just wanted you guys to be aware today, be alert, listen. Uh, if you're watching or you're reading or you're checking in throughout the day on what is happening around the inauguration um, I don't have a, 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 you know, normally it's like it goes off without a hitch because we know it goes off without a hitch, but these are not normal times that we are in. And so, uh, 45 and Melania, 
Yay, are finally leaving the White House. I think they're doing that right now. They've got Marine One on the lawn. I can't believe they letting that man fly down to Mar-a-Lago on Air Force One. Normally, that is not how it's done. They put his butt on a private plane and then they send him somewhere because he's no longer president. He don't get to fly on Air Force One. Anyway, that's my rant this morning. And so I just want you guys to um, be cautious, be aware, and just listen and watch, you know, keep your ears peeled. And as I said in the video, it may not necessarily be that today's the day, okay? Um, but it's certainly going to be connected to the inauguration, whatever this thing is. And lastly, I wanted to say, uh, I sent out a newsletter to everybody. For those of you website members, I have paused everyone's subscriptions because I am revamping the whole website. It's a hot mess. And I'm revamping the whole uh, website. And it's going to take me some time to do it because I don't have a, you know, a web developer or somebody doing it for me. And so I am enrolled in a tutoring class uh, with my host company. And they're walking me through certain processes and they're making suggestions to me so that hopefully when it comes back online, it's going to be a lot easier on the eye and much easier to navigate, okay? Um, and so you will not lose any days on your subscription, nor will you be debited at the time while, you're, while it's paused. So don't worry. And as soon as I have it done, and it could probably take me a couple of weeks, I just want to be honest with you guys. As soon as it's done, I will restart the subscriptions. You will get a notification from the website that it has been restarted, but I'll also send out a newsletter. And so I want to thank you guys for your patience. I want to thank you for trying to help me decode whatever the hell it is my guides are trying to tell me. Y'all give me hope that social media can be redeemed. So keep it up and I will speak to you soon. And hopefully, you know, we can make it through today without any major incidences. But I just, I don't have a good feeling. So until next time, uh, namaste and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Have a good day.